subscribe now and press the bell icon never miss an update What is scaffolding? Scaffolds is temporary work platforms to provide support for men and materials, used in maintenance, construction, and demolition. What are the hazards of scaffoldings? 1. Unsecured ladder slipping. 2. Use of unsuitable, damage and faulty materials. 3. Inadequately supported scaffold boards. 4. Omission. Removal of guard rails. 5. Not proper tie in slash braced. 6. Overloading of platform and board. What is scaffolding standards? 1. OSHA 1910.28 Safety requirements for scaffolding. 2. OSHA 1926.451 Scaffold general requirements. 3. OSHA 1926.452 Additional requirements applicable to Specific type of scaffolds 4. OSHA 1926.453 Aerial lifts 5. OSHA 1910.67 Vehicle mounted elevating and rotating Work platform 6. BSA 12811-1 2003. Temporary Works Equipment Part 1. Scaffolds Performance Requirements and General Design. 7. BSN 39, 2001 Loose Steel Tube for Tube and Coupler. Scaffolds. 8. BS 2482, 1981 Timber Scaffold Boards. 9. BS 2037, 1998 Aluminum Ladders and Steps 10. NSCA 10.8, 2001 Scaffold Safety Requirements 11. NCA 92.2, 2001 Vehicle Mounted Elevating and Rotating Work Platforms 12. NCA 14.7, 2000 Mobile Ladder Stands and Mobile Ladder Stand Platform 13. KPC Document 50 Safety Belt and Fall Protection Scaffolding Terminology are Top Rail Mid Rail Toe Board Self Closing Drop Bar Falls Upright, Punchin Bearer, Transom Scaffold planks, boards. Standard. Runner, ledger. Base plate. Sill, sole board. Longitudinal bracing. Transverse. Bracing. Base lift. Coupler. Construction Requirements Common Scaffolds Hazards of Scaffoldings 1. Unsecured Ladder Slipping 2. Use of Unsuitable, Damage and Faulty Materials 3. 
inadequately supported scaffold boards. 4. Emission removal of guard rails. 5. Not proper tie-in braced. 6. Overloading of platform and board. Options for scaffolds. 1. Competent third-part certified person is allowed for scaffolding job. 2. Cold work permit is required. 3. Employees shall be used chin straps, leather gloves and safety harness full-time. 4. Tools and spanners shall be secured with body. 5. Area shall be barricaded and signs board to be displayed. 6. Non-sparking tools shall be used in hazardous area. 7. Materials, clamps shall not drop or through. 8. Leather bags shall be used for shifting. 9. While erection and modifications, red tag shall be display on height equal to eye level. 10. If height exceeding the ratio, additional tie-in with nearby existing structure shall be given. 11. Job shall be suspended in case of heavy wind and rain. 12. Dismantling start from top. 13. Scaffolding tag shall be renewed after one week and checklist shall be maintained. 14. Ladder shall be raised at least one meter above landing platform and should be secure at three locations. 15. Loose materials, clamps shall not be kept unattended on working platform. 16. Scaffolding shall be erected, altered and dismantled only by competent and authorized scaffold personnel. 16. Scaffolding couplers should be tightened with proper non-sparking tools. 17. Scaffolding materials and other objects shall not be dropped, thrown, tipped or shot from heights. Drop area shall be barricaded. 18. Scaffold shall not obstruct access to or from any firefighting equipment. Emergency equipment, operating area equipment, instruments and control. Panels, ladders, monkey ladder cages, stairways, doors, stairways, etc. 19. Extension or alteration of scaffold is not permitted on the approved part of scaffold being used at that time. Erection and dismantling directly above an approved scaffold platform shall not be allowed. 20. During dismantling, no component, which endangers the stability of the remaining structure, shall be removed. The procedure of dismantling shall be orderly and planned and should proceed generally from the top in horizontal sections. 21. Components shall be raised or lowered hand-to-hand -hand in an orderly fashion, or handled by crane, gin wheel or other suitable means. Dismantled. Scaffold materials shall be lowered to the ground and not stored on the scaffold. Types of scaffolding. Types of scaffolding. 1. Independent tied scaffold. 2. Tower scaffold, stationary and mobile. 3. Cantilever scaffold, truss or jib scaffold. 4. System scaffold. 5. Fabricated tubular frame scaffold. 6. Bracket scaffold. 7. Slung scaffold, suspended scaffold. 8. Adjustable suspension scaffolds. 9. Crawling board or chicken ladders. Independent tied scaffold. An independent tied scaffold is the most common form of access scaffolding. 1. Light duty independent tied scaffold. 2. Medium duty independent tied scaffold. 3. Heavy duty independent tied scaffold. Independent tied scaffold consists of a double row of standards connected together longitudinally with ledgers and with transoms at right angles to the ledgers. Tower scaffold, stationary and mobile. Stationary tower scaffold height shall not exceed 18.3 meters, 60 feet, and shall not exceed four times, the minimum base dimension. If one to four ratio cannot be maintained, 
tower shall be stabilized by guying or other means. Mobile tower scaffold height shall not exceed 12.2 meters, 40 feet, and shall not exceed three times the minimum base dimension. Casters shall be minimum 12.7 centimeters, 5 inches, diameter with rubber, or similar resilient tires. They shall have positive wheel and swivel lock. Wheels shall be locked while in use. Cantilever scaffold, truss or jib scaffold. Breakers, bottom diagonals, one for every standard, shall be secured to an outside ledger above the opening and to an inside ledger at a lower level. Breakers more than 3 meters, 10 feet, in length shall be braced. The angle of Rakers shall be no greater than 35 degrees from the vertical, horizontal. Span for a single raker is 1.83 meters, 6 feet. Cantilever scaffold shall have only one working platform, with maximum height of 12.2 meters, 40 feet, from truss to working platform. System scaffold. System scaffold is made up of different sized vertical posts, and horizontal, and diagonal tubes. The vertical posts have fixed connection points spaced, at regular intervals to which you can quickly connect the horizontal, and diagonal tubes, and can be used as an alternative to traditional tube and fitting. Fabricated tubular frame scaffold Fabricated frame scaffold, tubular welded frame scaffold, means a scaffold consisting of a platform supported on fabricated end frames with integral posts, horizontal bearers, and intermediate members. Bracket scaffold One bracket scaffold shall only be used to support a light duty loading of 120 kg slash square dot m, 1.2 kilonewtons slash square dot m, 25 pounds square foot. Two brackets, bracket straps, and other associated structural members shall be free from detrimental corrosion, damage, or defects. Three bracket straps welded to the tank wall shall be at least 250 mm, 10 inches, wide x 75 mm, 3 inches, high x 10 mm, 3 eighths inch, thick, with bends at the center for inserting brackets. The gap created by the bent section of the bracket strap must be compatible in size with the bracket to be inserted, with a 3 mm, 1 eighth inch, maximum clearance on the front or back faces. 4. Bracket straps shall be welded to the tank shell for a length of at least 150 mm, 6 inches, along the top edge of the strap, to 75 mm welds men, and down 25 mm, 1 inch, along each side of the strap, with a 5 mm, 3 16 inch, fillet weld. No weld is required along the bottom edge of the bracket straps. 5. If 38 mm, one half inch thick wood planks are used. The maximum circumferential distance between brackets shall not be more than 1.5 meters (5 feet) on center, except as noted in the following paragraph. If 50 millimeters (2 inch) thick wood planks are used, the maximum circumferential distance between brackets shall not be more than 2.4 meters (8 feet) on center. Six only if all brackets frames platform units, planks, etc. are certified to meet all requirements in OSHA 1926.450, Ank Builders Scaffold, the maximum circumferential distance between brackets may be 3.2 meters, 10 6, on center.
In this case, planks shall be full dimensioned 50 mm, 2 inch, thick by 300 mm, 12 inch, wide Douglas fir or southern yellow pine of select structural grade or scaffold. Guardrails and platforms for bracket scaffolds. 1. A guardrail system shall be provided on the inside platform edge wherever the gap between the platform and the tank exceeds 360 mm, 14 inches. 2. Guardrails for bracket scaffolds shall be constructed using either wire rope or steel tubing. Wire rope guardrails shall be 10 mm, 3 8 inch, diameter and shall be securely fixed and kept tight, that is, by the use of turnbuckles. Steel tubing shall meet the capacity requirements and there shall be no end-to-end -end connections occurring anywhere but at the guardrail support uprights. 3. Guardrail support uprights shall be made of scaffold grade tubing or structural angles. Preferably, these uprights are to be permanently welded to the brackets. However, an acceptable alternative is for each upright to be firmly secured into a 150 mm, 6 inch, minimum high sleeve or spigot pin, either of which is welded to the bracket. 4. Guardrail support uprights shall be constructed to such that the top rail is at least 0.95 meter, 38 inches, and not more than 1.15 meters, 45 inches, above the walking surface. 5. All working levels shall be fully planked. Working levels shall be at least two planks but not more three planks wide. 6. Planks shall overlap in one direction only and the minimum overlap shall be 230 mm, 9 inches. Suspension Scaffolds Suspended scaffolds are platforms suspended by ropes, or other non-rigid means, from an overhead structure. Because two-point scaffolds are the most common type of suspended scaffold, this e-tool uses the two-point module to describe requirements that apply to all suspended scaffolds. Crawling boards are used by roof workers. Crawling boards shall be not less than 25.4 cm 10 inches, wide and 2.54 cm 1 inch, thick. Having cleats 2.54 by 3.81 cm 1 x 1 and a half inches. The cleats shall be equal in length to the width of the board and spaced at equal intervals not to exceed. Crawling boards are used by roof workers, figure 14 below. Crawling boards shall be not less than 25.4 cm 10 inches, wide and 2.54 cm 1 inch, thick. Having cleats 2.54 by 3.81 cm 1 x 1 and a half inches. The cleats shall be equal in length to the width of the board and spaced at equal intervals not to exceed 61 cm 24 inches. Nails shall be driven through and clinched on the underside. The crawling board shall extend from the ridge pole to the eaves. When used in connection with roof construction, repair, or maintenance. Mobile tower scaffold shall only be moved by pushing or pulling at the base. Force shall not be applied at a height greater than 1.37 meters, 54 inches, above the floor level or base. No persons, equipment or materials shall be on the working platform or elsewhere on the structure whilst it is in motion. Please give comment and suggestions. Thank you. Subscribe our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for more updates. Thank for visit our channel. See you next class. Thank you.